Hey guys, it's Megan from Heller High Water Homestead. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own fire starters out of everything you have in your house already. So, super simple and helps with starting fires if you have any problems starting them like I do. So, stick around and I'll show you how. Today I'm going to show you three different versions of fire starters and every single one of them can be made from stuff you have in-house. So uh, the first version is a carton, dryer lint, and leftover wax from candles that never truly burn all the way down. The second one is a toilet paper roll, and again, dryer lint and wax. And the third one is just with these makeup removal pads and wax. So let's get started. So first step to any of these projects, I need melted wax. So I filled a pot halfway full with water, put it on medium low, put a heat resistant bowl, anything. You could have put a regular glass bowl on top. I just used a measuring cup that we were uh, no longer needing because we can't read the measurements. And you put that inside with the wax and let it melt. It's gonna take a bit, but uh, slow and low, you know how they say. melted I'm going to start with the easiest one so what you're gonna do is take one of these cheap cotton makeup remover pads that most people have in their bathrooms if not you can get them for like less than a dollar at the dollar store then you're just going to dip it into the wax and let it drip off the excess and leave some of it wax free you want something to be able to start uh, the fire with, and then it'll burn past that, get to the wax, and take a little longer to burn, giving you time to get your fire stoked up and ready to go. So, seriously, easiest one ever. So that's it, and then you just let it dry. Version two. Everybody has these somewhere, whether they've rolled off the counter, onto the floor, or they literally just finished a roll. You always have one of these. So what I did was I cut two slits, one on one side, one on the other, and one in. And then I'm just folding it in, and making it so that I can put the dryer lint in the top and it won't come out the bottom. So. Again, dryer lint. Just go in your dryer, you probably got some in there. You just stuff it in there, just about three quarters of the way. And then you're gonna take an oven mitt. Safety first, kids, safety first. So you're gonna take the oven mitt, grab the hot wax container, and you're just going to drizzle it inside. Whoop. And it's going to so seep through the wax and it's going to sit near the bottom. And again, let that rest. And then when you start it, you can start it at either end. So here, just give it a light, throw it in your fire pit, in your wood burning stove, and it gives you, again, enough time to get the fire stoked up nice and hot. And uh, so you don't feel so embarrassed not being able to start a fire. Like moi. So, version two. Now on to the third and final version. Everything, like I said before, to make these, I had on hand already. 
I didn't have to go out and buy anything. It's just an easy project. So, like I said, a carton. You're gonna take your dryer lamp and you're gonna stuff each spot with a chunk of lint. And, oh, I don't like the feeling of that. All right, so again, safety first kids. I'm gonna try and get this so the camera can see. I'm not sure if I have enough wax for this, but we're gonna do what we can. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour wax on each bundle. Just a little bit. A little bit at a time. And you get the point. So when this has sat and hardened, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out each individual cup. And that would be each its own starter. So seriously, it is one of the easiest projects you can do. You can keep uh, most of these in your 72 hour emergency bag. You can keep them in your in your camper, in your vehicle, you never know. Because if you're anything like me, you can't start a fire for the life of you and anything helps, anything. So if, uh, if you enjoyed this, you know what they all say, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell. And uh, I'm hoping to get some more videos out shortly and uh, tell me what you want to see, what you want to hear. I'm open to suggestions. So anyways, have a good one. So for this, and I'm not sure if I'm filming, <laughs> everything. Ah. Let the stove on. Is made from, just like everything else, everything I had on hand. You could literally use, getting way too excited, 